Do a roll call, please. Mike Tomer. Here. Luis Deladucci. Nina Percicelli. Here. Jason Sarazne. Bill Pelosi. Here. Bill Henderson. Here. Neil Lyons. Here. Mayor Pat Blasio. Here. Hey, George Tomer. Thank you very much. Um, we have one visitor, uh, Beth Eckerman. Sure. Sure. You can stay right there. This is, this is not a formal meeting. Hi. Uh, everybody, a lot of you I know from um, previous work that I've done in the school district. Um, but I'm representing the booster organization, Sue Shark and Valley School District. Uh, I'm a resident of Collier Township. Um, and I'm visiting the townships to appraise everybody on a project that we've undertaken and uh, that we're asking for your help. So about two months ago, a bunch of booster organizations got together uh, to talk about what we might be able to do in the school district to raise awareness across all sports, all athletic uh, activities, and also do a better job of pulling through youth activities. So doing a better job of integrating youth activities with the high school, junior varsity, and varsity sports. So things like um, providing season tickets at a really reduced rate for youth participants in youth sports to be able to attend um, the high school events. Um, having youth nights, um, giving uh, kids opportunities to participate and get paid to be um, ball boys and girls at various, at various um, events. So there was a whole list of things put together, and one of the things that the groups came up with is the idea of um, putting a digital sign in place in a really prominent part of the district near the high school and middle school. We talked to some sign companies, we tried to get kind of a budgetary idea of what it might cost, and then we set about trying to get all the booster organizations to contribute um, uh, cash from their organizations, which it all comes from the parents, which are the parents of existing athletes. Um, and again, the idea being we were trying to coordinate and connect youth sports with uh, high school activities. So we started out doing that, and we had really good participation from the booster organizations. So we have about uh, 13 booster organizations participating. Once the booster organization stepped up, we got, um, I don't know, somewhere in the area of $9,000 or $10,000. Then we had some youth groups come forward because the youth groups in Chartier Valley get to use all the facilities for no cost, essentially really no cost at all to the fields or to the gyms. And the youth group said we should participate because this is going to benefit our kids coming up through the program. So the youth groups participated and put some money in. Then we went to the superintendent and the athletic director um, because we decided where we wanted to put the signs right on the corner of Tom's Run Road and Route 50. So if you can think for a minute about where the high school is, there is an old brown wood sign that is essentially used for drama or um, uh, troop activities, and it's just kind of old. Well, if, um, if you think of the other side of Tom's Run Road, so not where the parking ride is on 50, but on the other side of Tom's Run Road, there's a lot of brush. It's all grown over. It's real, there's a bunch of small scrub trees. And um, we decided that from a signage standpoint, that would be the best place. There, there's a fair amount of, of machinations around that ground sign. Who owns it? Who can change it? If they change it, what does it have to look like? And the township and the owners of that land are trying to figure that out on behalf of the school district. Because as you know, the school district is building new buildings. And that's a super prominent place. And the superintendent would like that location for district signage to say, the high school, the middle school, the primary school are all that way and do district-wide signage that might promote academics and academic activities. So we kind of were targeting the, the corner across the street, but that land is owned by Pan American, uh, Pan American Water. So we contacted Pan American Water and got them to agree to um, provide the school district a 20-year uh, rights to use the land for signage purposes for a dollar. So we're papering that deal right now between um, the school district and Pen American Water, but they thought it was a terrific idea. It's a great use of that space. There's absolutely nothing else they can do with that space because of the fact that there's a creek back there, it's back there, and there's also some historical land not too far off the corner. So they
they came to the table. So then the Chartres Valley School District voted and nine school board members all unanimously approved that it was a good idea and that we should keep moving forward. So we have 13 booster organizations, four youth organizations, nine school board members, a superintendent, an athletic director, and then we went to Collier Township. And Collier Township said absolutely, we'll participate and we'll, we'll, we'll fund $5,000. So they pledged $5,000. Then we went to Scott Township and philosophically they're aligned. Uh, they want to contribute the $5,000, but they have some fairly arcane municipality issues that I have to figure out how to work around. Um, namely things like blind bids and things like that, which I'm a private citizen, I'm not running a blind bid for a township. I'm just somebody trying to pull together a bunch of like-minded people to do something good in a community that seems to be very aligned in getting it done. So we've got that, and then I've got Bridgeville and Heidelberg. Heidelberg's meeting is tomorrow night. Um, and so basically I'm here asking if you guys would support in kind uh, the $5,000 I call your township and Scott Township. My commitment to the, to the townships is we won't take a dollar unless we can come to you with a full plan. Here's what the sign looks like, the school board's behind it. Um, they've, they've committed already to um, provide all the electricity, all of the computer, uh, the, 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 the lines that have to be run into the sign for the digital sign purposes. Um, they've committed to doing all of the infrastructure work that needs to be done and we're just trying to raise the money for the sign. So, uh, you know, but my commitment is, you know, we wouldn't spend a dollar until we've got it super buttoned up and you guys have a chance to take a look at it and make sure that you're comfortable with it. But the, what we're looking for is a $5,000 pledge. The greatest benefit to the townships is being able to advertise youth sports on that sign. So, from the, from the standpoint of new parents, when new parents have their first kid coming up through, nobody's on any email distribution list, and everybody misses the first baseball sign-up, and the first soccer sign-up, and the first football sign-up. Everybody misses it, because they're not networked. And so, um, we've had some really, really great feedback from the youth groups that they're interested because the townships would be able to, whether it's baseball, or basketball, or whatever, they'd be able to advertise the sign-ups for their programs um, on that sign. So anything that is youth, sports related would be able to go on that sign. It would be run out of the athletic director's office in Chartier Valley, so that's Angie Potoff. Angie Potoff's office would run, would run that sign and the content, um, and it would run all year round. They're in there all year round. Um, and so, you know, everybody's super excited that it would be a great catalyst to bring people together and connecting the youth and the high school sports. So that's what we're trying to do. Do you have a price on the whole cost of the? Yeah, so, the biggest issue with the sign is, do you do a single-sided sign positioned on the corner diagonally, or do you line it up flush and do a back-to-back -back double sign? That's entirely about cost. It's one sign versus two signs. Every piece of advice we've been given is, don't waste your time on the single sign. Try to do the double sign. My approach with the sign company is, give me both. Give me a pathway to both. That way, if we can get to the double sign, and let's say Chartres Valley has to throw in an extra couple thousand dollars to put it over the, the hurdle, um, they'll be able to do that. But I think that sign's gonna be somewhere around $30,000 for the double digital the double digital sign. I think we'd be able to get by with almost what we had today with a little bit of participation from the townships if we just wanted to do the same old sign. But again, until, you know, no dollars would be spent until we have this whole thing buttoned up. But I'm sure you can appreciate from my standpoint, I kind of need to know what people will be willing to pledge in order to take the next steps on putting together the sign and getting the, the quotes back to the district and getting the quotes back to the townships. Here, here's a, I'm sure it's gonna be an issue that'll come up with Bridgeville. Yeah. Is you're asking us for 5,000, you ask Scott Township for five, Call her for five. Right. Are you asking the higher part for five too? Yeah. No, it, well, yes. <laughs> I'm going to ask him for it tomorrow for five. Okay. Um, I have. I've been given no reason to believe they would come anywhere close. Yeah. To that. I mean, well, I mean, call your. I mean, I don't, I don't know what their annual budget is for the year, and Scott Township as well. But I can pretty much assure you that it's a heck of a lot more than Bridgeville. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, I, I appreciate that. It's a question of can you do it? Yeah. And, 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 and I, I, we would have to look at our, I mean, we have to sit down and look at our budget and see, even see if we have it available. 
Yeah, right. Um, no, so I, I totally crazy. understand that. I do think from a, particularly from a youth sports standpoint, you know, Bridgeville, you know, has as much to offer in youth sports as, as, as those other two townships in many areas. And the benefits, I think, would be there. I think the, the benefits absorbed by each community would be relatively similar. But I do appreciate that you're putting in fewer people. You've got fewer families. You've got, I, I, I totally appreciate that. I'm, I'm just looking at it more from a benefit standpoint. Sure. I think I shared a very good, uh, good question to you. Good remark, as you said. As a matter of fact, I heard over here what I uh, would like to do, the budget for apps in proportion with what Collier, uh, Scott, and us, in proportion, we I probably would agree with council to give you in proportion of our budget or our residence. So it might come to $1,500 or $2,000 or $3,000 when we do this comparison in proportion. So that I wouldn't mind to tell, to put my vote on that part. Sure, I mean, you guys have to be But if you understand yeah. what I mean, Absolutely. in proportion. Absolutely. Okay. You, you have to be comfortable. You. Yeah, you have to be comfortable with the approach, the process that, you know, I'm just telling you what I think we're going to need. Right. I'm telling you how I'm hoping sure. to get there. Um, you, talk, you're, I mean, you talk about all the, the youth sports being involved as well. Um, I mean, I'm assuming you mean like, you know, to call your baseball. Have you baseball. reached out to Joe Verducci from BAA? Have you talked to him or Bridgewater Athletic yet? Mm -hmm. I'm curious to see what his thoughts would be. And because we advertise, obviously, mm -hmm. and our signs here for, for Bridgeville baseball. Yeah. Because you know, we don't have a lot of Bridgeville centric youth sports except for baseball. Right. Yeah. And that's usually in the um, newsletters. Right. And that goes out in our newsletters. But he might say, that's a great idea to be on the sign down there because that's where all the, all the kids are going to school there every day anyway. He might think that's a great idea. And you know he might support it as well. Right. Um, so you know we should probably reach out to Joe, mm -hmm. although he's not in it anymore, but he's still in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not in. Yeah, something's keeping it out. Um, uh, can we, can we, when do you need an answer about it? Um, you know, I, I'm waiting for my quote on the sign. So okay. sometime in the next couple of weeks, like if you can. Be the next meeting. Is that next month? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Good. Is that I mean, is that fair? Yeah, yeah. All right. Who's that? Okay. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, okay. Who's your company uh, give you pricing on this sign? Do you well, service more than one? We have one right now that, we're, that I'm just trying to get the specs from. Once I get the specs from one sign, the company, then I'm going to another one to get a, a quote. But I need the specs because all signs aren't, aren't equal. Yeah, absolutely. So I, I'm just sure waiting for the first set of specs. My, my approach would be to have two, two quotes from two sign companies. I'm just not going through the process of blind bids and putting it out to a bunch of people to then see what I get back. I, I can't manage that as a private citizen. That's right. But, we I, are. but personally, I want to make sure we're getting, you know, we're getting yeah. a decent price. So I want to have at least two sign companies. Giving, we have this agency uh, contractor, if you will, call that that we put only sign in, uh, in Bridgeville uh, in, in two or three or four years uh, at any time, and uh, it would be a bad idea if uh, Lori will furnish you that That'd be great. that address That'd be great. and check with them as well. I absolutely will. They'll be the second company that I try because I have the first company I just hadn't looked into who might be the second. So if you have a recommendation on that, that would be terrific. I think we're good So you have 13 boost organizations? Yeah. I guess Boys Lacrosse invitation got lost <laughs> in the mail? Huh? Boys Lacrosse got lost in the no, mail? No, we, uh, I'll, I'll send you our contact on who we uh, reached out to. Actually, I sent you an email. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll copy you on my email. <laughs> I'll, I'll reset it again, right? <laughs> But actually, really, the only the only one I'm super disappointed in, because a lot of them are much smaller, right? Even tennis. I, I got two hundred and fifty dollars out of tennis, which is a real a really small organization. And but football. I got nothing from football. Are you kidding? Not a penny. Football's king. Oh. Not one penny. They're and, and they were rather right irreverent now. about it. Like that? So they were rather irreverent about it. Like, no. Nah. Like why why would we ever do that? We get all the people we want there. <laughs> After you put the sign up, you can have a special as needed price for them. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, there you go. The, 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 too late to participate in the reduced rate price. Yeah. Yeah, that's the only one I'm really disappointed. The rest of them all stepped up. And like I said, even what was really surprising to me was how quickly the youth folks got on board yeah. and offered up the help. At some you know, nice levels between $1,500 and $2,500, they offered up some help, which was wow. pretty meaningful for youth sports. They don't, you know, they don't typically have a lot of extra money, so. Sure. No, yeah, I'm so that was really great. There's no extra money. Yeah, there's just, you know, it's all kind of thin. Yeah. But it's all, you know, what I said when I was at Collier and, and with, with the Scott folks is, you know, this is all parent funded. Mm -hmm. So this is all, everybody is just kind of all coming together and they're your residents and they're calling your residents and they're Scott residents and they're Huddleville residents all coming together saying, you know, this is important to us. So I think the idea of thinking about it equitably um, is a good idea. It, what, what would be the original piece of that and how could you support and if you could, if, even if you know you kind of gave me a range on what you thought, right. and then come then, then when I come back with what it's finally going to be, you guys could decide if you know what you can do. So we can we'll we'll take a look at it and see. I I mean tell you the truth, we have to, to look at our budget and you know, to see. I mean obviously we have you know it's there's stuff that comes up in our emergencies that we may come up throughout the year. Um, so we have to look and see what we can do. Yeah. And uh, hopefully we can get back. That'd be great. Okay. I'll just say, having spent the last 16 years involved in youth athletics uh, at both the regional level and the district level, I think it's a great idea. And, uh, you know, I, I'd like to see if we, whatever we can support this project, I'd like to see us do it. Thanks. I appreciate that. I mean, I got kids there. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. you know, well, obviously, like, we always try to support the schools as best we can. Yeah, so you know, it's, it's, it's been nice because this is one thing that I, I seem to be able to get everybody aligned on, which doesn't happen very often. So if we could do something that everybody looks at and says, hey, we all came together to do this, mm -hmm. it's a start. Then if I can get Collier and Scott talking more frequently, that would be really helpful. <laughs> that's, you know, that's a bridge. Uh, I'll let them go and be just sit in the background. <laughs> I'll give you a call um, and give you the information for the signage company. That would be great. I think I'd put all my information. Yeah, I have it here, so I'll call you. Yeah, I know. Okay. Great. Thanks. Yeah. I have a couple. Uh, we don't need to belabor here, too. If you have floors, if Lori, you have contact information, I, can, I just had a couple little questions, so I don't need to belabor here. The, you sure? Yeah, sure. Okay, that's fine, too. Yeah, with anything. If something comes up after the fact or you guys have other questions, just pop me an email and I'll get back to you and as quickly as I can. But thanks for um, listening and for whatever you can do. We really appreciate it. I think it could end up being a really nice addition to the community. Thanks. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Nice to see you all. Thank you. Thank you. Bowers Road. We have that there. That's the second paragraph. 
Uh, we prepared the conceptual payment market plans for the revisions <clears throat> to include the auxiliary left turn lane on Bower Hill Road for left turns on the railroad. And then he gave some advantages and disadvantages. The advantages would be to separate the left turns, westbound traffic through uh, Bower Hill Road, and eliminate the illegal passing on the right that regularly occurs when a left turning motor is waiting for the gap. The disadvantages it de decreases the gaps created for vehicles trying to turn left from Railroad Street onto Bower Hill Road, making it difficult. And then he indicated that the eradication of the existing thermoplastic pavement markings would scar the pavement and would still be visible to a notice motorist, which could cause some confusion in certain conditions, especially during the rainy conditions. So that's uh, the advantages and disadvantages of doing that. that. You mentioned that about the car motor. Yes, he did. We just did that when we did that a couple years ago. Uh, Route 50 task force update. Uh, Pendlot ac actually called Friday afternoon after the my engineer's report and uh, asked for additional information regarding cost estimates and uh, some phasing. We're currently working on getting that information updated and over to uh, Pendlot this week. And then also um, through uh, Information provided by Todd Kravitz, who's our, our traffic guy. Uh, they're going to incorporate the line striping that's on the third diagram, which is part of the overall plan for the Route 50 task force to line stripe that and put that left turning lane in for people who are coming towards town, make a left hand turn on the Hickman Street, and then they'll adjust the lanes accordingly. So that's all going to be done as part of the Pendlock contract. So that's, that's, I know that's only a small part of the overall Route 50 um, project, you know, I think it's a, it's a good step right. in a positive direction. So if you don't want to do it, speak now. We've got to let them on them. Otherwise, if, if we tell them we don't want it, they'll put it back the way we want it. What well, way is that? They're, they're going to repay it anyway. They're going to repay it anyway. They're supposed so to be in the next couple weeks. We should, weeks. So we should so probably vote, you know, we have to vote on it today yeah. and hey, we let them move forward. Yeah. Right. So, okay. that's, I mean, so I'll put it back the way it is. I don't think any of us want that. I think yeah. The objective is to move forward with that. And then that will also give us that uh, a little bit wider island down there in front of Bell Beans that's, uh, between the uh, Bank Street extension and uh, And then uh, the last thing is we find some concepts for the improvements between rail rowers overpass to College Township. Um, that's the last drawing that's showing how the, the lines, would, the lanes, excuse me, would be lined up to uh, achieve the, uh, the turning movements. I think what was, the idea there was to get a right turn lane on the Presley Road. I'm heading southbound, still have a straight through, and then still maintain the, uh, the left along to Presley and the uh, straight through lane going north on Route 50. So uh, yeah, that's, possible. that's possible too. So is that possible without taking any property? That's what he had. He had a couple. He had yeah. another diagram yeah. there that, he was said, that showed oh, he was um, one three point. Showed you having to acquire additional right of way. It's pretty tight down yeah. there. So he's stuck with this. Hey, let's stay within the confines okay. uh, from curb to curb. So we don't have to take any part. Right. Right. So, uh, well, I mean, uh, yeah, I'm not talking on the no. shoot side, but the yeah, other side. side. Right. Yeah, I know you, there's, there's no, there's nothing to take on. There's the nothing to take. Yeah. Right. But on the other side, there's yeah, you could take some, but, but, but the plan is not to. Oh, okay. Excellent. And it still would work. And it still work. What eleven foot lanes? Eleven foot lanes. And that's right. that's the that's what that's been. Twelve foot's desirable, but yeah. eleven foot's is comparable. Right. Okay. okay. So that's the update on those items. So, so this evening we would want to um, vote to vote to vote on on, on, the, Hickman. on the Hickman Street uh, yeah. just line striking up. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. So we do this first. Joe, can I ask a question? Sure. When, okay, first question about the Presley Road thing. You're saying if you're coming from Home Depot and you're on Washington Avenue approaching Presley, you're saying there's they're proposing 
two lanes that way, even though there's more space on the apartment side? No, no, no. What is, what is, what is, on the center? We're coming, we're coming from how many people? Yes. It would be a straight lane. It would be 11 foot wide. The one in the middle. And then yes. that would go straight. And this is right turn only. Right turn, up. Yes, I'll press But you're saying that the most of the space, because this is shoes, so wouldn't come from this way. It would come from this way. This right. is still going to be that's one still, lane. That's still, that's, you, probably, you probably get two lanes out of that. Oh, they will get two yeah, lanes? Yeah, two lanes out of it without having to take any curve on the side of the bridge. Okay. But this will still be no, it'll still be the, the, left the turn. same, and you're still not going to be allowed to, which I agree. Right. Turn right. Okay, yeah. so this really isn't changing this exactly. way. It's this way. Yeah. Okay, and my other question was um, here. Bower Hill and 50 here. Mm -hmm. My question is about the timing of the lights. So you're saying coming from here, they're going to get a green arrow. They're going to get a green arrow. Okay, what color should be? Okay, which one is? This is, is this Bower Hill? This is Bower Hill. Okay. Okay, so there's two lanes there now. There's two lanes there now. One is right turn only and then this. So here's my question. But we're going to keep in mind, this the idea here is going to increase the depth of this lane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. My question is, because I'm going to about that. My question is, in relationship to how long this arrow is. Like, I live up here. Sure. And in terms of trying to promote people not to use this as a cut through. Okay. Okay. And, and the mayor had said one time that this left green arrow mm -hmm. will be part of the original timing that's already timed. Absolutely. What I'm hoping is that they're not going to be giving these people. Like extra, I, I don't want it to be one, two, three, four to make it more convenient for when people come down. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, exactly. you know, I'm yeah. talking about the timing of the light. I want it to be this. I, I want it to take less time from me. You're talking because, about, right? The, you're talking about Bower Hill and Murray, right? I'm saying yeah. if you're coming down Murray, I don't want there to be a lot of time. That's right. The, the, That's the right. Because you said originally you were thinking same timing. Just let the green arrow go for like 15, 20 seconds, and then it, it'll go both ways. I know what you're saying. You, you I understand what you're saying because the green arrow would give these people coming down Bower Hill Road an advance. Maybe yes. give, maybe give them an advance time. 10 or 15 seconds right. to clear out. I want to irritate these people that are coming down here. <laughs> Me included. I live up there. Okay. I want to irritate these people. Okay. I, I want this to be. Is that going to be, or are you going to do a four lane one? No, I don't think it has like, to be all convenient. No, the, I don't the, 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 You do not want to take this and turn this into that one one direction has time advance over this, over this versus it. You want to still have per, permit the opposing traffic to come towards each other so that you're, right, you're sharing like how time. Long so th this will be about the same time it always was. I'll have to check with Mike. I mean, he's, he's the one that knows mostly about the uh, traffic signal timing because you know he he submitted the, the uh, information to pend off for review hmm? on a time. I mean, I'll have to check. I'll get back to you. Okay. I know what you're saying. These two opposing, they want, you want them to be anybody running at the same time yes. at some point. But this because otherwise, it just gives it just gives preference to right. everybody who's from, coming from the St. Right. Clair and all those places to just use it more as a cut. Even this, now they have the right away. I mean, it's like I'll check ridiculous. What we need to know is we need to know what the what the what the green arrow time is 10, 15 seconds, and then what's the opposing time? Is it another 15 seconds? Yeah. And I want it inconvenient from this way, okay. which is residential. Inconvenient so that they'll go down Presley and turn right where it's not inconvenient to turn right. Okay. Like instead of, like, in my opinion, people's cut through my thing should be going down to the bottom of Presley and turning sure. right where there's a whole nice yes. life part. No, they come through, cross the railroad tracks, get hit by trains, and then they turn through this. Okay. You see what I'm saying? If, if you, I, I don't know about it, and I know that's not your yeah. deal, but I was curious in terms of the timing of that, yeah, because, uh, you know, if, if it's all going through. Yeah. 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 Okay. 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 This is the best. I have to look at it. Okay. Because I can have my number. Do you remember the password to the Wi-Fi? I've got it here in my book someplace. You were having a chance to do it. Yeah, but I don't want to get it on that. Yeah. Okay. I mean, the, 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 the
got two. Oh, okay. Um, curious. The area of the Washington Avenue area that they were looking at. Any, any thoughts, Joe, or anybody as to putting the, uh, the decorative street lighting down there? I'm just I'm curious as to what the thoughts are. What point along continuing now? I, I don't want to be concerned about it. I thought contract passed or? Well, the, 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 the proposal for the, the, the city of the North End. <coughs> Does the traffic proposal here? Yeah, that traffic proposal. Oh, this. Is. is there a thought? Is there a thought? for putting the decorative street lighting down in front of the bridges. Bridges. Oh, that's up to you. I mean, I've never been here. I'm very neutral on it. I mean, it's up to you guys. It's the city. Yeah, I would love to see it. I have no objection to it. Me neither. I have no objection to it, and I'm very neutral on it. I was just curious as to if you want to get it now. Oh, the decorative street lights. On the north side of the Okay, there are decorative street lights in front of PNC Bank. Should those same street lights be placed in front of shoes? They should be all the way down. They should be all the way down to the uh, street. Yeah, of course. I don't think anybody's opposed to it. Why yeah. not? It's just a matter of. Well, no, it's a matter of paying for it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, we, we, we've, been, oh, we've been talking about the North End for, for years. Mm -hmm. uh, we get, you know, we've put time and effort into doing sidewalks and streetscape on the main drag, mm -hmm. and it looks great. I think it looks good, mm -hmm. you know. But we, we come, we talked about, you know, that's one of the reasons why we talked about where we have conceptual drawings for the other end, how to improve traffic flow down there. Mm -hmm. So, You're looking into. Uh, I got some prices on on the bridge. Mm -hmm. We're getting the bridge. Um, I never imagined that it would cost two million. Mm -hmm. you know, but, but it's not forgotten. That's for sure. <laughs> and Lori, you you know better than most how much we're talking about for decorative street lighting down there. Five thousand a pole. Yeah, I mean, five thousand a pole. Plus the plus the LED and, and the. I don't know that there's another nine hundred. Nine hundred sixty-seven dollars to purchase them or place on somebody. One of those light bulbs is nine hundred. The tops. One of the gloves with 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 the with the uh, board is nine hundred sixty-seven dollars. Yeah. So it's it's about six thousand dollars. Yeah, I think we've done some grant applications in the past and have some quantities and some cost pads. And all that has to be done is up be updated to the current cost you know, to, to do that work. We need for, for down to apply for a grant for the northern end of town. We would have to do what we, we had to do in mm -hmm. the middle of town. We have to have a conceptual plan. We have to have some pretty hard costs, mm -hmm. and we have to. Be, just like we did from Walker Park, mm -hmm. you know, and and uh, because they won't take those applications if you don't have them. And just as a note, I got a letter today from the DCNR that we passed first phase of the getting the two hundred fifty thousand dollars for the Walker Park, and now um, the uh, we have the conservation award from that. No, they approved it already. The National National Forestry Department has to approve it. So we're moving along on that. Um, but um, I mean, I think I think if we if we want to concentrate on that area, council would need to give us the go ahead to begin a conceptual plan so that we have something to work with so we can apply because right now we don't have a chance to do it. That's why I brought it. I don't think it's something that needs to be decided right at this moment, but it does, it does need to be decided. What time can we do? Well, you know, it, it takes a while to have those plans. 
son, um, you can use a blank in. Unlike. Yeah, I mean, Gateway can do it. Yeah, but Juan did it, but I think Gateway could have done the same thing. Um, you know, but we need a plan, and we need, you know, an electrical plan and replacing the poles, you know, and doing the sidewalks. You know, something like that, so that when we apply for an home street or any type of grant like that, they want that. They want to know that they're going to give you the money and you're going to be ready to go to bed. So that's what we need for that. Yeah. I can I can see both sides of the, of the argument. One side is in the center of our town is just between Hickman and Bower Hill. I can I don't necessarily agree with that, but I can see it. And I can, you know, and why should we pay five thousand a light pole all the way down to the end of town? I can see the other side. It's all our town, and we should do it all. I think that's an ultimate goal. It's, yeah, it's, not, it's it, the other side is it's 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 more than it's just all our town. Um, you know, when you're coming from the north, it's the first thing you see is when you cross that bridge. I mean, when we are, you know, those signs, mm -hmm. they go in, and I mean, everything all fits together as one big piece. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that, that's why I brought it, that's why I was putting it on the table, because councils, I would think that it's the council that has to express this opinion. Yeah. We, we would need the authorization to move forward with something. I mean, we've been, I've been talking to the signage company, the two business parts, um, you know, have done where the, where the bridge is. Um, you know, you have all the signs, terrible signs scattered all over the place. Mm -hmm. And for them to do a, you know, Washington Avenue business park sign, and then, you know, for them to have their, their signs underneath so that it can be changed out or whatever, and everything is uniform. And they know that they're there, just like over a commercial street, so you don't know this thing all the signs that you can barely read. Um, so. Utilizing the same format that KMG same format. is coming up with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And hopefully um, getting the businesses on board so that they can help you know, get those signs erected, since mm -hmm. it, it will be Something that would be a positive for them. Mm -hmm. so. The second item was a discussion about comprehensive plans in the neighborhood plan. And for two months now, there's been a proposal to do a couple of neighborhood plans that has been tabled with the idea that it should be discussed in a workshop meeting. Mm -hmm. So I figured before we get to the regular meeting, we ought to have that time. Yeah. yeah, this would be a good conversation to have. Do you want me to get you copies of those so that you have them in front of you? Sure. Yeah, I have a good idea. Yeah. yeah. No, I can grow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think you had mentioned that. There's not a hard and fast rule that we have to do a comprehensive plan every 10 years. But it's not a legally enforceable requirement to validate and everything. Uh, I did say there may or may not be a mind grant specialist programs or whatnot that may or that may not you know, require. Um, what we're doing right now with the zone warrants mm -hmm. pending and the comprehensive plan is done associated with that, maybe not per se with the big C, you know, but otherwise what we've done and doing with the zoning warrants and then mm -hmm. with what's on tap, in fact, I'm going to talk to Carolyn about it. somehow through the whole process, I'm going to take a punch, so to speak, because we are comprehensive. Mm -hmm. It's in a phased way, frankly, I think it's more productive. But, that was the, the conversation that I'm hoping to have the, to see council have as to whether they like that approach. Um, yeah, and and if the they don't, then right right heading in that direction. And if they don't, then heading in the direction of a comprehensive plan, but sort of picking what path you'd like for them. Mm -hmm.
because as you see, the neighboring studies are, have been out there. Is anybody not familiar with this?
thought we said you guys were raised with those. You know, the whole quality of our health thing it has multiple wishes, and then you have some kind of lingering planning issues maybe up in that sector, some changes going on near it, some circulation stuff, and that part is, in, I, 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 my understanding was it was right for at least getting a proposal. So you could, you know, you could uh, in the same fashion. I'm sure there are the other places that have their own manager, specific you know, things that you could do kind of in succession as well, but not mutually exclusive, I guess. We could continue on, you know, when we, <coughs> when we uh, prepare our 2016 budget, continue on and decide that there are other, you know, what other areas that I think, we want to I think we'll pick these two for obvious reasons yeah. to, um, to start with. Yeah, I know Lori's already reached out. That's who I talked to. I talked to him. He's a 
said, if you need any help, call me. Uh, I mean, Bob Brown and Pat Felton, um, they would be happy to and have already kind of given the preliminary to the warriors. So, I think if you're really going to look yeah, into exactly. it, they actually run a good operation. They can tell you the pros, cons, pitfalls. Right. I'm sure they'd be happy to help check our numbers and really kind of help you. Yeah. 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 Y
we got to do something that feeds us a bit, and we're going to have to make a decision in order to charge. We got applications for people who want to work here. We can pick. We get something set up with them before next meeting. For sure. Yeah. Sure. We'll try oh, yeah. to. Uh, I want to have. He, a, he's a solicitor for yeah, I want to have a public works meeting Monday okay. with Nina and Bruce. I'm going to be meeting with him tomorrow. We'll call over and actually have to go there tomorrow. Yeah, because I want to get things. See who we're going to hire in that. Or I could pick Lori and we'll just show up. Because we got all the applications, we might be able to get three good guys. Um, we have another meeting. Is there a motion? What is it? To adjourn. Well, you uh, you, uh, you almost have to. Yeah, that's my. So, all right. All those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? Motion.